<laughs> uh, Craig, Jersey away this weekend, second against third in the league, obviously. How much are we looking forward to this one? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, Jersey are a good side. Uh, like you said, second versus third. It's, uh, it's important that we, we really finish strong at the end of the season with these last four games. And uh, it's a good, good opportunity to go over to Jersey and really put a statement out there. Yeah, no game last weekend. Uh, boys are feeling fresh for this one? Yeah, yeah, I think boys have come in this week. Um, really refreshed and training's been really good this week. Uh, obviously the weather's pretty good at the moment and and uh, we've trained really well this week and I think uh, that week off's done us a lot of favours. Yeah, let's just go back to the Nottingham game, obviously our last last fixture. Um, probably wasn't our best performance, but given us something to build on for this weekend? Yeah, definitely. I think that we were in control for, uh, for the majority of the game. Um, I don't think the result was really in doubt, but I, like you say, we were sort of stop-start within the game. Um, and I think we probably come off the pitch thinking we probably could have uh, put more points on them and, and put them to the sword a bit earlier. But, uh, but yeah, all in all, it was a win, uh, another decent performance, and um, yeah, we can build on it coming into Jersey. Had some great battles with Jersey this season. What are we expecting from them on Saturday? More of the same? Yeah, more of the same. I think we've had uh, this is our fourth time we played them. Uh, we've won two, they've won one, so there's a bit of a uh, bit of an incentive there for us to to go make it three one. Um, they're a real attritional side, but they're also they're, uh, they're good with ball in hand and they'll play from anywhere when they get the opportunity. So we'll make sure that defensively we're on the money. Um, and when we're playing with ball in hand, that we're looking after the ball and otherwise they'll, uh, they'll punish us. Um, but, but yeah, like, like you said, um, we've had a few ding-dongs against them this year, so it's important for us to go out there and be real, match them physically and, uh, and take it to them. Yeah, the last trip out there was probably one of our best results of the season. How much confidence can we take from that one? Yeah, it was uh, it was a funny game. Like the conditions were terrible, um, but it was one of those games you come off the pitch and you're buzzing with the win. Uh, I think we can take a lot from that because uh, physically we really fronted up and uh, not sure exactly on the conditions there this weekend. Hopefully they're going to be pretty good. Um, so we can throw the ball about uh, for there, yeah, throw the ball around a little bit, um, but. But yeah, take a lot of heart from that performance over there and that performance here just after Christmas as well. Uh, just before Christmas, sorry. Um, yeah. And uh, just a handful of changes this week. Is the team feeling pretty settled at the moment? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think we're, uh, we're sort of building on on how we're playing at the moment and we're starting to, uh, like I said, weather's getting better, we're throwing the ball around and our attacks come on a bit in the last uh, few weeks, um, sort of month or so. Um, and I think... Uh, yeah, like we said, week off, boys have come back in refreshed, uh, little changes, good opportunity to go there and, uh, and kick on. Yeah, personally you're putting a bit of a run of games together at 10, uh, pleased with your form at the moment? Yeah, it's good, I think it's a good sort of time of the season to, to get some game time under my belt and um, a bit frustrating to, uh, to not get so much around sort of uh, just after Christmas time. But, uh, but yeah, really enjoying it, and uh, like I said, we're playing some good rugby at the moment, so as a 10, it's, it's really enjoyable. Yeah, just three league, league games to go, obviously you need to win to keep the fight at the top going. How, how big is this match for us, just to kind of keep staying the fight? Yeah, it's massive. We need to keep putting pressure on Irish. Um, and we've obviously got Jersey, Bedford and Irish left. Um, so it's massive for us to not slip up now. We need to go there and really put a statement out, especially with us being second in the table and really uh, cement our position in, those, in the top two, keep putting pressure on Irish. Yeah, you mentioned those last fixtures. We play, I think it's third, fourth and then first. It's a pretty tough end of the season, isn't it? But I guess one that we're, we're looking forward to. Yeah, definitely. It's tough, but, but these are the games we're, uh, we're here for. Like We want to be in those games where we're playing neck and neck and, and we're fighting for something. and. And it's good sort of standard of rugby at this end of the season to be playing against these these top sides, and it's a good marker of where we've where we've come from the start of the season to now, and and we'll be hoping to to put some really good performances in. Yeah, just finally, you kind of mentioned that we lead the head-to-head -head with Jersey two-one at the moment. There's been plenty of niggle between the sides in those first three games. So how much motivation is kind of the opportunity to get a get a three-one um, on kind of on our side? How much motivation is that giving us? Yeah, massively. I think it's. Uh, it's important for us, but they're obviously probably thinking the same thing. Um, they won't want us to be going there and turning them over at home. And they obviously beat Irish at home in the league as well. Um, so it's, it's really important for us to go there and make sure we uh, make it 3-1 and make a statement.